So this is, a good, this is another SVG NFT by the from the Good Boy Society. Let's see if we can't make something happen here. So <clears throat> I'm gonna click on settings. Just do another five second one. Right here we're gonna do infinite and this will mean that it will it will make it loop. We're just gonna leave that at forwards. So right there in settings we've added the duration, turned it, changed the iterations to infinite. Alright, so these right here are all different groups of layers of like assets that are in this image. So look, there's the nose, um, and it's a group, so there's things within the nose. I'm just going to stay at the group level, just to make this a lot, a lot easier. See, there's the fish, the beanie, bow tie, see this was a generative art, so this has all been like randomly sort of generated on a script so that they can uh, build like rarity into their uh, kind of smart contract thing all right so I'm gonna do a few timelines and what I'm gonna do over on this side I'm not gonna change anything there See, this is going to be just basic because I'm still learning. But uh, so we've got the fish. Let's click animate. Oh wait, let's step back, step back. Let's grab that. Click that point of origin thing in the middle, and then center it up here. All right. And now we'll come down to animate, and we will. position it so we're going to try and change the position so I'm going to step back and delete that and I'm going to scale it so I'm going to make that fish get a bit a little bit smaller a little bit bigger so that it kind of looks like it's moving all right <clears throat> so what we we'll do here we start from this is this is our start point so let's move the, the timer to where we want it to be in a half a second and now let's grab it and scale it a little bit okay and now again see where it jumped over there now again let's go to one second Let's scale it back up and look to see how it jumped to there. And let's keep doing this because we can just focus on a few assets at a time. Let's move it ahead another half a second. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's move it a half a second. Make it a little bit bigger. Another half a second, a little bit smaller, another half a second, I might try and do some, I'll just stick with that for now to make it easier. So every half a second this fish is going to look like it's kind of moving I think. I'm not how sure how good of an animation it will be, but you at least you'll get the picture of how you can animate something on the timeline. And I think that's how I want it to. Yeah, 
Okay, let's get it to end like that. Okay, so now you're ready. Let's click all the way to the beginning. And let's see what this looks like when we click play. <laughs> so there you go, that's, um, that's one asset. And now what we can do is pick a, let's go back to the start. Pick another group. Let's pick his beanie. Let's click the center, the point of origin, or whatever. And now let's add another animator. So I don't think skew and filters is, is probably only unlocked if it's the pro version. I'm just going to... Let's try rotate. I've never done any, any rotates. So let's see what we can do. We'll just go to... We'll do it half as much. We'll just go to one second. Let's see if I can ro how I can rotate it. Wait. There, I just rotated it. Two seconds. Wait, I've got to click the thing at the outside of it. Move it along another second. Click that bar on the outside and rotate it again. Another second. Rotate it. And then we'll try and get it back to normal. Right, so it should be two things animated on the timeline. Let's play it back. Alright, let's do something else where we're going to scale. Let's jump down to the doge life. And let's animate from the beginning. And we will scale this as well. We'll bring it up to be pretty big. So there we are. Let's drag the timeline. And I'm just going to go to half a second. And I'm going to make this a load bigger. Just like that. the end and then take it all the way back down again all right so that this might not be as good you can always redo it over you know Can you get the idea? <laughs> I 
Alright, I'm just gonna keep it simple and well, let me show make sure one thing I uh, reiterate, put it on infinite so then it'll loop. And then when you come to save it, uh, it might take a little while, but I think you can just save it with Heck, let me try one more thing while I'm here. I want to try and make the eyes like kind of wink or something. So let's see if we can grab his eyes. So you could animate so many different things, so many different assets in here that make up these groups. Alright, well, maybe, well, maybe that's what, so the eyes probably cannot be change on this one I'm thinking I don't know. So maybe we'll just leave it as it was. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Let me show how it's all done. Now. 
up now because I'm not sure if I can I guess you can I guess it forgives you you can stuff around on the timeline get it to get it to where you like it you can see where everything else is in comparison Anticipated, but you can get a good idea of grabbing different groups of assets um, and how to manipulate them on the timeline how to make sure you click the infinite so it loops continuously change the duration and now if we go to export see what it does <coughs> so you get two out of three so this is my last export until I have to uh, unlock it or upgrade So you can uh, maybe we can check it out in the browser. <laughs> Doge life. All right, hit the like and smash the subscribe and sub for more NFT, SVG, web development, you know that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next one.